Hello everyone, welcome to the 9 plus CGPA MCQ series. In this particular video, we will see MCQs from unit number 1, which is Introduction to Software Engineering. Guys, abhi recently you have seniors ke, uh, midterm exams hai, and we have videos banai thi unke subjects. Ke liye. And uh, surprisingly, there were many MCQs aise thi, jo directly came from videos, se, unke questions, mein, unke question exams. Mein. So, you can understand all these questions are very important and uh, uh, I will inform you that uh, I will make three videos, unit number one, unit number two and unit number three in which discuss the most important MCQs of these unit and in the last, I will make one extra video in which we will see PYQs, previous year MCQs of subject code CAC320. So, better is to go through all these questions and uh, subscribe the channel and hit the like button now the first question is which model is best suited for projects with well understood requirement and fixed deadline option is waterfall model agile model spiral model or rad module correct option is option number a waterfall model next question in which phase of the software development life cycle are user requirement transformed into system requirement is it analysis design implementation or testing correct option is option number a analysis is the phase in which software development in the uh, software development life cycle in which requirements transformed into system requirements next question which model is characterized by rapid development of a small functional increments so actually it is a agile model so option a will be correct what is the main advantage of using the V model over the waterfall model? So, it actually provides a clear mapping between requirements and test cases. So, option C will be correct here. Fifth question, which requirement type specifies the system ability to recover from failure? Is it functional requirement, non-functional requirement, performance requirement or reliability requirements? Correct option is option D reliability requirements is the type of requirement that specifies the system ability to recover from failures next question what is the primary goal of a feasibility study in software engineering option a to determine if the project is technically possible yeah this is the correct to access the financial visibility of the project this is also correct to evaluate the operational feasibility of the project this is also correct. So, option D will be correct here. All of the above is the correct option. Next question. Which model emphasizes emphasize the importance of early risk identification and mitigation? Option is waterfall model, spiral model, agile model or RAD model. Correct option is option D, spiral model. Next question. Which phase of the software development life cycle involves writing code based on the design specification? So, actually implementation is that phase in the software development life cycle. Which model is most suitable for projects where requirements are expect, expected to evolve over time? Option is waterfall model, spiral model rad model or incremental model correct option is option b a spiral model next question what is the primary focus of the requirement gathering process it is actually uh, done for the uh, documenting user needs and expectations so option c will be correct here moving to the next question which requirement type specifies the security features and constraints of the system Option is functional requirement, non-functional requirement, security requirement or performance requirement. Option C will be correct here, security requirement. Next question, which model is characterized, characterized by dividing the project into a smaller, more manageable increments? Option A will be correct, incremental model. Next question, 13th number question. In the context of software engineering, what does RAD stand for? So, in the context of software engineering, RAD stand for Rapid Application Development. Option D will be correct. 15th number question. Which model is characterized by the development of a partial system to demonstrate concept and gather feedback? 
ऑप्शन सी विल बी करेक्ट प्रोटोटाइपिंग मॉडल नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच रिक्वायरमेंट टाइप स्पेसिफाइज हाउ द सिस्टम शुड इंटरेक्ट विद यूजर्स और अदर सिस्टम ऑप्शन डी विल बी करेक्ट इंटरफेस रिक्वायरमेंट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन Which phase of the software development life cycle involves creating detailed technical specification based on the requirements? Option B will be correct. Design is the phase of in the SDLC which actually involves creating detailed technical specification based on the requirement. Guys, all these questions are very important. Direct questions will be asked in your exam. so do all these questions carefully if you don't know the answer just watch the videos and just do by heart all these mcqs it will be very helpful in your exam next question which software development life cycle model is most suitable for large scale project with changing requirement read the question carefully you will get the answer a spiral model is the correct option next question in the prototyping model what is the primary purpose of developing prototypes option b will be correct together feedback and refine requirements is the primary purpose of developing prototypes guys these 9 plus uh, cgp mcq series which gold uh, will go till your interim exams so make sure to subscribe the channel in order to gain 9 plus cgp okay 20th number question which of the following is not a characteristics of the waterfall model so emphasize early user feedback is not a characteristics of waterfall model option b will be correct next question which software development life cycle model is known for its flexibility and adapting adaptability to changing requirements option uh, c will be correct agile model is known for that next question which model is based on the idea of building a series of prototypes to refine the requirement option c will be correct prototyping models guys nothing is there in the unit number 1 just go through all those uh, sdlc uh, sdlc models and uh, do the software development life cycles all the phases of the software development life cycles there are the seven phases do all those phases carefully and do all the models you will get good score in unit number 1 nothing is there although i have taken all the mcqs all the possible mcqs that can be asked from the unit number 1 do these mcqs carefully next question what is the primary goal of software engineering now very fundamental question option b will be correct to develop software with high quality and reliability is the primary goal of software engineering next question which of the following is not an impact of software engineering so option d decreased demand for skilled professionals is not an impact other other than option a b c is the impact of software engineering option 25 uh, question number 25 Which software life cycle model follows a linear sequential approach? Very fundamental question. Waterfall models actually follows linear sequential approach. Next question: Which model is suitable for projects where requirements are not well understood initially? So, prototyping model is suitable for that. Option B will be correct. Next question: The spiral model is an iterative approach. process that combines which of the following activities option a will be correct planning risk analysis engineering and evaluation is the so option a will be correct here coming to uh, moving to the next question feasibility study in software engineering evaluates option a technical feasibility of the project the financial feasibility of the project operational feasibility of the project or all of the above all of the above is the correct option d will be correct here next question which type of requirement specifies what the system should do so it is a non functional requirement sorry functional requirement is the correct option option a next question which of the following is an example of a non functional requirement so option b will be correct the system must respond to user input within 2 second so is the 
non functional requirement other than the b options all are the functional requirement so option b will be correct because the question was about a non functional requirement next question what is the process of collecting and defining the requirements of a system so option b will be correct requirement gathering is the process next question requirement analysis involves what so all of the above is the correct because all the op given options is the correct here next question which model allows for requirements to evolve and change throughput the development process change the throughout the development process so option c will be correct incremental model allows the requirement to evolve and change throughout the development process 34 number question which model is used when the requirements are well understood and unlikely to change so which waterfall we use waterfall model if the requirements are well understood and unlikely to change next question in the prototyping model prototypes are typically what fully functional system used for used only for demonstration process and option c is developed only for high priority requirements option a and c is correct here so option d will be correct here next question which model divides the project into a small increments with each increments adding new functionality option is waterfall model incremental model rad model or a spiral model option b will be correct incremental model next question which phase of the software development life cycle involves validating the feasibility of the project? Option D is the correct planning. Planning is the phase in the SDLC. Next question. In the waterfall model, when does testing usually begin? So in the waterfall model, testing usually begins after the design phase. Next question. Which requirement process specifies the constraints under which the system must operate so it is a non-functional requirement so option b will be correct and the last question of this series is what is the primary advantage of the spiral model over the waterfall model option a will be correct it actually allows for early user feedback okay so this was all about these videos i will make two more videos of unit number two and three and one extra videos for the previous year mcqs so make sure to watch those videos and do subscribe the channel thank you so much guys